Did you know? That Justine was in the dark pod? No. They kept that secret under wraps, even from me. But I could have told you not to trust her, even though it would have been hard to convince you of that. I know she's family, but it also tracks given everything she's told me I need to do to get ahead. I just didn't think I would be on the receiving end. I knew her tricks when we were partners, and I never thought I'd be on the receiving end either until I caught wind of her trying to turn on me. Though there is an upside to having lived through that experience. What's that? I can help you now. Listen, no one knows your aunt like I do. I remember what she was like when she was on the main roster, what got under her skin, her toughest opponents, her regrets, her weaknesses. If you're on a collision course with her now, and you seem to be, you'll want me by your side to give you the best chance to beat her and win the championship that should have been yours. The best way to take down your aunt is to make her confront the past. Confront the past. Interesting idea. I'll think about it. Well, that was one of the wildest things I've ever seen in WWE. You're telling me. I know she's your family, but I can't get over how these legends come in and trying to make everything about them. Why can't the older generation stand aside and let us have our shine? They already had their time. Justine certainly makes everything about her. But I don't care what kind of a miraculous recovery she may have had. Justine should have let me have my moment. Right? How can these WWE legends expect WWE to grow and move forward if they stay stuck in the past? I'm not the only one in the locker room who feels this way. If you need help with your aunt, you've got backup. I mean, these legends think they're hot, but put them up against a faction of the top and upcoming current superstars and we shut them up real fast. We need to force them to embrace the future. Embrace the future? Huh. You might have something there. Our brand new SmackDown Women's Champion is here to address the WWE Universe after her shocking return and victory at Elimination Chamber. So, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. I've been medically cleared. Surprise! You know, I thought I had closed the books on my WWE career. But being around here lately reignited a light I thought had gone out. As I got involved, Coming back into WWE, first with my podcast, and then as a manager, I started to wonder. Edge, Lita got second acts. Why not Justine? The more I gave, the more I realized, you need me. You need me because you deserve to see me finally reap the rewards of the path I trailblazed to fulfill the promises that I wasn't able to keep when my career got cut short to- What the hell? <laughs> I was wondering when you would show up. Figured you would, given how much you like to ride my coattails. What are you talking about? Why didn't you tell me you were cleared? And why haven't you called me back? Would you have paid attention if I had? After the way you laughed at me when I suggested we team up for the Money in the Bank tag team match? After you never thought to ask me how I was doing whenever I mentioned my doctor's appointments? I'm beginning to think I should have set up those lighting rigs to fall over on you instead. You did it. Why wouldn't I? Because I'm an old, washed up, past her prime legend. Girly, you best not insult me, because I taught you everything you know, LJ. Too bad you don't have the goods to back it up. I was proud when you decided to wear your own gear for your debut and make your own mark. But it was probably then that I started to realize you don't have what it takes 
to push our family name forward in this business. That I'd have to do that myself. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, LJ? You followed me around like a shadow your entire life and you don't understand. When you decided not to use the chair in your main event match with Ava, did you think you could get ahead by following the rules? <laughs> Cute. That's not how it works. I would never have made that mistake. Because I've always known exactly what I want. What I needed to do. In a world that was five times as hard and seven times as brutal for me. I tried to push you. But you wouldn't even take advice from me. A WWE legend decided to stay loyal and help your leech of a friend, Ava, instead. You know the difference between you and me, LJ? I've never been content walking in someone else's path. And I never had the luxury. I've always had to make my own. My head is spinning here. Justine's not only back, but she's put a target on her niece. Justine's certainly drawing a line in the sand here tonight. How do you even respond to a betrayal like that from a member of your own family? I think we're about to find out. And I have a feeling that whatever she has to say, it could have some big ramifications for the WWE Universe. Shut up, Justine. What did you say to me? Shut up. It's always the same with you. I had it so hard. It was so difficult. Boo hoo. I'm not here to revisit what happened 20 years ago. This is the problem with all you legends. So proud to rest on your laurels. You spend so much time bringing up your grievances and you never think to put any of that energy into bringing up the superstars of tomorrow. Hell, maybe even making it better for them. Yeah, you've told me how it felt to get your matches cut short back in 2003. Move on! Imagine what it feels like now to get your matches cut whenever some old legend shows up and wants to reminisce about the past. <laughs> A past that I'm sure is better in memory than it was in reality. You got your win at Elimination Chamber, relying on the element of surprise. Hooray! Congrats! So proud. You want to really settle this? Face me for real. You and me for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania. When the dust is settled, we'll see who has the title and who the WWE Universe really respects. Some has been who can't move on or the real future of WWE. Did we just see a WrestleMania match being made? I think we did, Saxton. I've got to admit, it's not a matchup I thought we'd ever get on the grandest stage of them all. And I also don't think we've ever seen a statement that powerful from this superstar. I agree, Corey. And she didn't just pick a fight with Justine. Intentionally or not, she picked a fight with all the WWE legends. If that's the case, at least the WWE Universe gets to see that fight here today in the present. Oh, calm down, Saxton. What? I'm excited. It's about time someone called out a WWE legend like that. Didn't really think it would be you standing up to your aunt, though. 
I meant what I said out there. And I meant what I said earlier. Liv feels the same way about these old timers still in our spotlight. The WWE Universe wants to watch us, not them. Well, then maybe it's time to put our words into action and really give them something to watch. My Aunt Justine had a lot of time to talk last week. Good for her. Now, it's my turn. But I'm not just going to talk. I made no secret last week how I feel about WWE Legends. It's time to move on from the past. We're the ones going out in the ring each and every week putting it all on the line in each and every match. Whether it's at a premium live event, on SmackDown, or a house show. We're the ones doing the work. And we think it's only fair. <laughs> that it should be our faces up there, not theirs. What are they going to do? She's holding the can of spray paint. What do you think, Saxton? They're defacing WWE property. And sending a message to the WWE legends. It's controversial, but effective. I guess. Uh. Molly, Holly, and Lita are here on SmackDown. They're here, and I don't think they took that message too kindly. Liv Morgan into the side of the truck. And Lita with the twist of fate onto the concrete. Pretty big talk when it comes to the legends on this truck. But you've got no chance when it comes to taking on the real thing. Straight to her niece's face. Looks like Justine and the other legends had a message of their own tonight. And a strong one at that. They're not ready to step aside. After a vicious backstage attack earlier tonight, two of today's brightest young stars are taking on megawatt legends Lita and Molly Holly. What a matchup, and what a responsibility to represent their respective generations. Any one of these women could be the difference tonight, including the ones on the outside of the ring. Goodness. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Go, go. Sit out, Matt Slam. She's forced onto the defensive now. She's reached a critical point in this match, Cole. It's up to her if she wants to play it safe or keep fighting. Oh, ouch. And Holly expected that. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. A set out Matt Slam. Powerful contact by Liv Morgan. You can hear that strike from the cheap seats. Wait, what's Justine doing? She's heading towards Bianca. Bianca's not waiting to find out. She's putting the WWE legend in her place. Not if the official has anything to say about it. Bianca's out of here. Come on. Bianca was just defending herself. Not so fast. They're both getting ejected. The referee probably saw what happened. Doesn't want the ring to end up spray painted. This match is back on. Kick. She 
She gets the tag. And it is gone. Ooh. Great reaction from Holly. Uh-oh. Oh, and she got out of there. Retaliation. Perhaps he needs suplex. Wrist clutch suplex. Perfect. She's in pretty bad shape now. This has just been an absolute massacre. Standing drop kick. It ups. That's another focused attack to her torso area. She throws her back in. contend for a title alone, but together they may never lose a match. Three matches just don't get much better than this, folks. This mix of superstars and legends have been mixing it up for weeks. And tonight, they'll all get their chance to have the last word. Whatever happens, it won't be the last word for Justine and her increasingly confident niece, with WrestleMania getting closer and closer. Uh-oh. Thunderous power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. Oh. 
What a kick all the way to the floor. And now she's bringing in overwhelming offense. She's reading everything her opponent is trying to throw at her. Tilt the world head scissors. Devastating elbow. Ooh, look at her answering back. Oof. Answer that with a stiff knee. Lita with the disrespect. With the defiance. Got the tag. Got the tag. Big four. are so important in a match like this to keep fresh. That might be enough to beat the legends. What is Molly doing? No one's even around her. <laughs> it's clear what she's doing. I don't know if you can teach an old dog new tricks, but sometimes you don't need to. The old tricks work just fine. DDT under the chair! Perfectly choreographed deception from the WWE legends, and the referee didn't see any of it. And it's over. They've still got it. These three women were never shy about cheating to win. And that's clearly not changed. It certainly paid off here tonight. I think what you meant to say was smartly using every resource at their disposal to win, Cole. Experience pays off. That's what we saw tonight. If you say so. Playing fair and trying to just beat them obviously isn't working. Though I guess starting with that production truck stunt wasn't really fair, if we're being honest. Whose side are you on? Sorry. Listen, at the end of the day, this is my fight. I appreciate everything you've done, but I've got to take on Justine alone. What do you have in mind? I've already got my match at WrestleMania but winning there is not enough at this point. I'm gonna hit Justine where it hurts the most. Of course, it's obvious to anyone with a brain that my niece's efforts to undermine me, to undermine my legacy, are really the attempts of a weak, scared little girl. I just want to talk. Seems that we have an unexpected guest today. You may know her from her recent humbling loss to me at Elimination Chamber. My niece. Or as she always asked to be called growing up, Little Justine. So, LJ, I've got to ask, how does it feel to be nurtured by the best in the business and still be such a letdown? You know... 
You were the best in the business, Aunt Justine. I'm sure you didn't make the trip here to tell me what I already know. But isn't that what you said you want? For someone to give you your due? See, after the initial shock of seeing you at Elimination Chamber, I've had some more time to think. And you're right. You were never given proper credit for what you did and what you accomplished. So you did join me to make my own point. What's that you said on SmackDown? About having to survive a world five times as hard and seven times as brutal? In the moment, I think I would have said you were making excuses. But now I know you're exactly right. You did work harder to get less. You should have been the main event week after week when you were in WWE. Sure, they threw praise on your name after you retired, when management decided they needed to add another woman to the Hall of Fame, or now when they want to get a Legends ratings bump. Fans buy into that nostalgia but forget what it was really like for you. How they treated you when you were on the roster. What do you know about it? You don't understand. But that's just it. I do understand. You've been teaching me since my first day in WWE. And you know what I finally really get? Everything that you've complained about, that you're mad at, for all that you blame management or other things beyond your control. It's always been me who's been your real target. Because I'll never know the limitations that you did. I will get to push myself in ways you never could, have opportunities that you never would have been given, and see how far I can really go. And you? Justine, you're a legend. The best of her time. Maybe could have been the best of all time if you had a level playing field. But the fact that you'll never know when I will, that's what you'll never forgive me for. And that's what's going to allow me to replace your legacy with my own. You ungrateful You're a selfish, self-centered, only thinks for herself. Because I'm the only one I could ever count on. Looks like we have something in common then, because I certainly couldn't count on you. You don't deserve your talent. It should have been me. But it's not you, Justine. It's not you. It'll be me at WrestleMania. I've still got it. <laughs> sure, you've got what's left. Enjoy it while it lasts. But me? <laughs> I'm just getting started. You planning on stealing my title tonight? Your title? I excuse me? Is the SmackDown Women's Championship yours? Calm down, kid. I'm not talking about a championship. I'm talking about my honorific title, Mr. WrestleMania. Wouldn't it be... You know what? Never mind. If you mean do I plan to have the match of the night, then yes. Justine won't know what hit her. That's what I like to hear. And you should obviously always be focused on winning your match, especially tonight with everything that's on the line for you. But don't forget to have fun out there too. I'll try. I'm not sure my aunt's betrayal has been particularly fun for me though. I don't know, kids. Sometimes fun means being the daylight out of a once trusted friend or family member. WWE superstars, we are just built different. Thanks, I think. WrestleMania! Can you believe it? Would it come off as entitled if I said that I can? I mean, I'm here, and it's happening. 
Aw, LJ. Regardless of what you do, you'll always come off as entitled to me. Ava! <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, kick her ass out there. After everything she's put you through, you deserve it. Good luck. Thanks, Ava. Seen a lot of people go out on the grandest stage of them all, but this feels different. Who are you rooting for, Tom? Ah, oh, LJ, don't ask me that. You know I love you both. I just want the two of you to sort this out. Tom, her friends threw my friends into the side of a truck. Nobody's perfect, LJ. Least of all your aunt. But she's a good person. Even when she was trying to get you to turn against your tag team partner, yes, people talk around here, she thought she was looking out for you. Well, now she's just looking out for herself. That may be. I'm just wondering if that's always going to be the case. I mean, I know you don't need her. Even from your debut, you were confident and strong, wearing your own gear, rocking your own moves. But seeing you someday both move past this and work together? That would be something both the friend and the fan of me would like to see. We'll see, Tom. We'll see. It doesn't get any bigger than the grandest stage of them all, and it doesn't get any more pulse-pounding than a battle between beloved relatives turned bitter rivals fighting for the SmackDown Women's Championship. The stakes couldn't be any higher, Michael. Not just for the two warriors in the ring, but for past and oh boy, who comes? Will she get fully locked in? Guillotine! It's it. Utilizing her power, hoping to escape, and that'll do it. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. She heads out, but this one can be lost by countout. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. She can withstand the punishment, though. High angle belly of back suplex. Vicious double axe handle. She avoids the attack completely. And she slides her back to the mat. <laughs> Regal flex. A constant assault from her here. It looks like there's nothing there that can stop her. Seated bionic elbow. An impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. <laughs> oh, and Justine turns the tables. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Ooh, she responds with a counter. And that was an effective attack, guys. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Big form. Uh-oh. You're gonna do it, don't get caught. Uh-oh! Oh, she fights Justine back. Close line! Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything.
And more hits up there can leave you dazed. Oh, saw it coming. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Ooh, she just turned it around. I got a feeling somebody's in. Oh, Goes into the pin. Two. Two and a half. And there was barely any room between the official's hand and the mat on that near fall. Oh, man. Strong oh. kick. My goodness. And she can't put an end to any of the offense coming in. Yeah, she has to start returning fire fast. And the hits to the core keep coming. on the arm here. Oh, she fights Justine back. Reversed it right into the suplex. Ooh, oh, there's the old... Oh, that hurt. Superstar in the past, she's now cemented her own legacy within WWE. We could be seeing this image at WrestleMania for years to come. Wait, what's happening? I'm not sure. Can Justine be trusted here? I don't believe it. It seems that even Justine's small heart grew three sizes today. If these two can get over the differences after the rivalry they've had, then anyone can do it. Look out! What the hell? The new champion was just ambushed from behind! It may be the end of this rivalry, but this champion story in WWE is just getting started.
Spencer Rose!